First Alert Weather with meteorologist Ted Schmidt. What a glorious way to wrap up the month of July. Temperatures today cruising toward the low 80s, very seasonable. We had some serious clouds at first. Those are product of some thunderstorms going on in western Iowa and Nebraska. They have really thinned out in the past couple of hours. Looking at blue sky now, not a cloud overhead here in Rochester this hour. As we look live now with our Lewis Auto live cameras, great day to be out in Lake Pepin. Great day to be out doing just about anything today. Certainly a good day, to, if nothing else, to get some much needed projects completed. Things like that. Uh, road crews working, they probably have no problems with weather like this dry rain free and humidity free and very comfortable conditions. Rochester 76. It's 81 in Waterloo, uh, 76 of Bemidji and 78 in Valentine, Nebraska. Not a cloud overhead. It's and 76 here in Rochester, 81 in Austin, just shy of 80 in Charles City. It feels Amazing outside. Winds are calm, dew point 53, so no humidity to complain about today. Air pressure is steady, uh, the barometer right now, and a very pleasant range for that humidity and that dew point scale. 53 is really, especially for late July standards, uh, very much the bottom of the scale. Typically, 60 something would be kind of the minimum. And usually, it's something much less comfortable, but today, we're going in a different direction, somewhere much more pleasant than anything you would even imagine. High pressure in charge of the weather, bringing us that dry, pleasant weather. All the heat being held of our west and south in a series of storm systems and fronts. Uh, so we're under this domination of Canadian high pressure, this comfortable, uh, a very uh, tepid air mass with uh, dry atmospheric conditions right now and very stable atmosphere, not a cloud overhead. Future track today, tonight, tomorrow, all looking very quiet. We start seeing Maybe a few thin clouds drifting in from the west, a product of an approaching storm system. Uh, looking at a dry day tomorrow, showers to our southwest and a few to our north. And by Wednesday morning, there's a chance we'll see some thunderstorms, some from the west. Some of those may stay just north of us. Future track trying to keep a lot of that activity in northern Wisconsin. But some of the computer modeling is suggesting we'd be clipped by that. So there's a chance that maybe a couple of strong storms impacting the wee hours of Wednesday morning as that happens. So some strong wind gusts, maybe some hail that would happen right around sunrise or maybe just before that Wednesday morning. That's our only rain chance really this week. Beyond that, we look toward the weekend for some shower chances and still some seasonable temperatures. But before we get there, we'll have a warming trend that at least helps us get into the upper half of the 80s. Isolated showers perhaps early Wednesday and a few late Friday and for parts of the weekend. That offers the best chance of rain off and on. Not the entire weekend, but there will be rain chances throughout the weekend in some spots. Mostly sunny today, a pleasant one. Rochester 81. 83 in Red Wing, 82 in Mason City. Uh, temperature outlook for the next several days is actually cooler than average next week. Uh, this latest from, from the Climate Prediction Center. So the long term 6 to 10 day outlook carries us into the middle part of August. We may be not cold, but definitely a little cooler than average and certainly no intense heat to worry about in that time frame. Today, a seasonably warm day, pleasant one, 81. Uh, east winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear, 59. And then the seven day forecast we start with tomorrow is just a little more humidity, a little more heat, 84, a few extra clouds as well. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour, a couple of thunderstorms, maybe early Wednesday, more humid for Wednesday and Thursday before another front moves through. And then we'll uh, shave off a little uh, heat humidity and also bring some rain chances back to the picture for parts of the weekend. Ted's trivia, which finger accounts for half of your hands overall strength? You know, I want to say, well, I, I want to say the index finger, but I'm thinking that might be too obvious. So how about um, how about the pinky, Ted? You know what? It's funny. It's, it's, you don't give a lot of credit, but pinky uh, offers a lot of leverage. Mm -hmm. When you're trying to grip somebody or something, it's the opposite with your mm -hmm. thumb. Those two work the hardest. Without the pinky, you would have half as much strength. You wouldn't have, you have that iron grip that you have, Jess. Yeah. You have all that right. iron grip, yeah. Yeah. Working on the farm all those days. Um, yep. Yeah, building up Powerful the strength. Hands. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ted. The morning